Here we go. Well, thank you so much, Fight. Very gracious. Very gracious of you. We very much appreciate it. I appreciate it. Key, get the freaking key. Oh, I got the key. Okay. Uh, let it be known I did not donate because you're playing the Zelda CDI game. I donated because I love you guys. Well, thank you, Fight. You're awesome. And I promise Mother 3 is coming. Um, it wasn't announced you know, as you saw in the Nintendo Direct, of course, but um, Zelda 3 stream is coming. Or Zelda 3. Mother 3 stream is coming just for you, of course. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. One more try here. One more try. I love having the shooting sword. If I can just keep this all the time, I'm fine. No, 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 no. Can I get over here? Okay, I think I can. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get through the door. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna read what you guys were talking about. Um... You're truly awesome, donate because I love you guys. Balls in your court still. How much does it cost if you want to stream HDMI? Um, you mean stream uh, gonna be like the classic Bulls Jazz fight? <laughs> I call your raise. Um, as far as cost to stream HDMI, I mean I got the way I have it set up. Um, I mean, my computer is a piece of crap, and the HDMI setup on it is still really not that good. Um, but you, of course, you want to make sure that your oh no, of course you want to make sure that your internet upload speed is good. Um, you want to if you want to do full high definition up uploads, or you know, streaming um, anywhere from three to five, uh, well, three upload maybe. I've seen people do it with like one to one and a half to two. I mean, I have my upload here is right around about one eight hundred k one. So I mean, it's not that good. Um, but mainly why I don't stream in full HD is because my computer can't handle it. Um, but as far as the cost on setting up, getting what you need, um, I mean, really all you need is you know the right computer, of course, and then uh, just a capture device of some sort either an actual capture card that you put right in your system through the PCI slots or, or whatever, um, or an external one like the one I have is the Roxio GameCap HD, which is about a hundred bucks um, if steel raises. Um, and then the one a lot of people use is the Elgato, uh, which is usually around about 120 to 130 uh, piece of equipment, and it's external that you plug your you know HDMI in and then from the capture device you plug into your um, USB. Um, how old is your computer? Just slap a new processor to action RAM. Yeah, my computer is about seven years old. Um, and honestly, when I do new computers, I tend to want to do a, a new one. Um, I mean, if I can do it where the where I get a new processor and extra RAM and have it work all right, then maybe I'd keep it. Um, I'm still kind of looking into it all, but now with the baby here um that takes priority of course um so um so we got through this area let's see what this lady's got to say i may be old and ugly but i still know a few tricks bring some grapple berries i'll show you a good one so wait we've got to come back to her with some yeah you're supposed to replace your pc every eight years that's pretty much what i have done um, my old, old, old computer that I use for video converting for family videos and stuff. 
Um, that one I got in 2000-ish. About 2000, and then when I moved out of the house and moved down here now, um, I got this computer pretty much right when I moved down here. That was 2007. Or 2008, so yeah, so it's been about that. So really, with electronics, I like to do new. I mean, this computer's just got so much crap and stuff stored on it, and I just want to try to do new all around. But let me see what she said again. Here we go. I may be old and ugly, but I still know a few tricks. Bring some grapple berries. I'll show you a good one. So she wants grapple berries. Tell that to Apple. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this was what is this area? This is the Spearfish Falls. Um, but we need to come back with grapple berries. You said grapple berries? I don't have grapple berries. I've got the necklace, which I don't remember where the necklace was. I thought the necklace lady was here, but I don't remember where the necklace was. So what it, does this open a new area then? Oh wow, that brings up the Siragon Caves. Eight years more, like four? Yeah, I mean, my computers I've been doing about six, seven years is usually, because I mean, I don't use them that much, but this, now that I've been doing this stuff and doing more video editing, what I like to do and stuff, um, it's been wearing down on it. Um, and it's just old and I just like new stuff anyways, so. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see with tax season coming. I know I've got a bunch of medical bills. Um, from last year when I had my gallbladder surgery, so I know we've got, I still have those to take care of. And, uh, shoot, I have an 07 iMac that still runs like it came out of the box. It's pretty good. Yeah, and now with the wife's medical bills with the uh, baby, we'll probably use most of the taxes for that, but we'll see. I mean, as it is right now, we're doing fine streaming, so. How often do I reformat it? Um, not as much as I probably should, if you're talking to me. Uh, not as much as I probably should have been doing. So. He says never. So, where are we at? 12 o'clock, baby's still sleeping. Well, let's try one more little... I want to go do the... Take the necklace back. And maybe that'll be the end of things tonight. Because we have three new areas. I don't want to get into all that. So let's figure out where this necklace was. It was where the flying pterodactyls were. Where were the flying pterodactyls area? That was the... Goranu, right? Yeah, if you're talking Mac stuff, I haven't been around Mac for a long time. I used to actually have a computer that I would... Um, it had two, it had both a PC and a Mac built into it, and you could do like control, you would do like control, alt, delete, and like backspace or enter or something, and it would switch to the uh, the other processor. So I had both a Mac and PC in one computer. So that was kind of cool, but um, I never did get into Mac very much. Wait, wait, what am I looking at? Money. Okay, so let's buy some more of that. Buy some more of that. And we'll buy some more of this. Thank you, sir. I primarily run Windows until I bought a Mac and I won't ever go back, yeah. I mean, I do hear that Mac is better for media things. Um, I used a Mac all during my schooling for... Uh, music recording and compose or not composing but music recording and editing and things like that um so i would use like pro tools and stuff so the whole year or two that i did for schooling um i used mac like crazy during the school seasons and whatnot where was this lady with the was it here garanu that had the lady at the bottom of the place that needed the... Um, yeah. I, I thought I, maybe I talked about that, but yeah, that's what I went to schooling for. 
Um, before, back when I lived in New York, I did some community college stuff uh, and some college courses uh, around uh, video editing, video composition, um, different things like that. And then when I, uh, just about everything, I don't run the death out of it, just general use. Um, and then when I moved down to Kentucky, um, I went to school for music editing, you know, music, uh, sound editing, sound engineering. Um, so that's mainly what I have been doing. Um, I just never really got into it after I quote unquote graduated or whatever, completed the courses. Um, Never got into it. I've been doing my own little things on the side and different things for... Oh, wait. Is this the area I need to go in? Yeah, I think it's... I need to stay here. Um, so I never did anything with that as far as actually, like, a career-wise. I kind of wish I had. Um, looking back, I wish I would have taken a little bit different route, but then who knows where I would be today. I probably wouldn't have met my wife and wouldn't be here where I am, so... Things worked out the way they did, um, which is fine. Um, but uh, yeah, so my, my background is in music and, and video and stuff like that. That's part of the reason why I started, you know, I wanted to start doing YouTube videos mainly to get my fix of, of editing and and whatnot, but um, once we started streaming, I haven't really had to do much editing uh, because I put everything right from right from oh, crap, right from Twitch over to YouTube, so there's really no editing involved or anything like that. So I used to edit all the videos and add little things to them back when I first started, but that didn't last long when we decided to actually start. Um, Oh, that's cool. I'm a musician, but I gotta go, guys. Been a busy week. Have a great night. Love the streams. Well, thank you so much, Fight. You are, you are always welcome. Of course, here you are awesome. You're very generous with your donations, so I thank you so much for that. Hope still doesn't raise me. <laughs> Crap! This isn't where we needed to go. This is the uh, the boss. I'm gonna let him kill me. But yes, thank you, Fight. We will talk to you later. I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna play the other game in this series. Uh, the Wand of Gamelon, which is very similar, so I mean, you're not really missing much. Um, but we'll be doing that tomorrow night, so. Let's dive in once more, because this is the Voldemort Castle. Wait a second. Wait a second. Was there something at the top of this? Or was it just the exit for the level? I can't remember now. Thought for sure this is where the lady with the dragon that wanted the dragon necklace. Come on. I'm not hitting up. Holy crap, this is so annoying. Generosity is a necessity of life, I think. Well thank you. Good night, fight. We will be wrapping up here soon anyways. I just want to get this dragon lady a necklace and then we can call it a night. Um, yeah, I have not figured out what the bell is for yet. Alright, so yeah, his thing up here is just the exit. Okay, oh well. I have not figured out what the bell is, is yet, so we'll, we'll figure that out. Where did this lady with the necklace... Wasn't the lighthouse, that was the guy at the top that gave me the lantern. Crater Cove, was it Crater Cove? Three Fish Falls, it wasn't. Haven't been there, haven't been there, haven't been there. So it has to be a ticket then. Now I totally forget now. Crap. Unless she was just on the way. I think she was just on the way to an area. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's right. She was here. She was just on the way to the lighthouse. So let's do this. Give her back her necklace, and then we'll call it a night here. I do hear her starting to get a little rustly in there, so this will be kind of the end of things. That was a good stream, and we were almost close to close to three hours, so that's a good stream for Friday on a game that I really didn't think that we were going to have much fun with, but ended out uh, ended up actually kind of yeah, she's in here, kind of being enjoyable, as annoying as it is. Okay, yeah, this is where we hit that guy, and then we get down here and duck walk all the way down. And here's the scary lady. Give her a necklace back, and what does she have to say? How sweet. Mwah. My husband gave me this. He's an abominum now. Here. It's not much, but it'll still carry water. Cool, so I got a bottle. Game of the year, 1993. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we can pretty much just call this done then. I'll probably just kill myself here a couple times. Come on. When I want to get hit, nobody hits me. Goodbye world, Zelda, I love you. Okay, so it's a canteen, empty. I don't know how I'm gonna fill it up. It must, oh, maybe this gives me my health back. Oh, that'd be cool. I don't know why drinking water gives you health back. Oh, maybe I can fill it up where the fairies are. There's the fairies, the fairy water there. Can it takes over. All right, so let's save this game up before something bad happens and I really hope this still save game I'm gonna test it while I've got you guys here save game save game one done I'm gonna reset we're just gonna make sure that it still worked if you want proof here's the actual disk that I have the actual disk and you can see that the time and date is correct and I set that back two years ago so the internal battery is still working fantastic and we're gonna play the CDI Plus, this lets you guys see the opening a little bit, too. Which is so 90s. Perfect. Animation Magic Incorporated Production. Link. The Faces of Evil. Uh, it was licensed by Nintendo. It just wasn't really developed by them. Alright, so here's the real test. Did it save the game? Oh, nice. It did. Fantastic. Let's just double check. We've got all the good stuff. we got five hearts. We've got all our goodies. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Well, that will kind of wrap things up then tonight. Uh, we went about three hours, uh, so that is pretty sweet. Um, we will be back again uh, tomorrow. We'll be doing the Wand of Gamelon, which is fairly similar to this game, so it'll be a lot of the same kind of mechanics and same same everything, really. Just with Zelda and a different storyline, so. But yeah, we'll wrap it up. Sounds like the little one is starting to wake up now for her midnight bottle here, so... Thank you all guys for stopping by. We had a great turnout actually tonight. Uh, we had uh, Surprise show up. I, I don't, oh wait, no, you're right there. Duh. Jeez. Surprise was here. Brock. Um, we had uh, Donation from Fight. Now he's back on top of the leaderboard there. So again, thank you to Fight for stopping by. Uh, Monkey Farts stopped by <laughs> real quick too. Uh, and of course, Steel as always for showing up at pretty much all of my streams. You are awesome, man. So thank you guys all again 
for stopping by. Catch us back again uh, probably about the same time tomorrow, around about 9.30-ish um, Eastern time. And tomorrow night, um, I know I said I was going to do one of the yeah, the other game, show you guys a quick game again, but that I'll save for tomorrow. I'll also put that up over on YouTube. But So if you are watching here live on Twitch, thank you guys for stopping by. If you're watching after the fact over on YouTube, thanks for checking out the channel if you made it this far in this particular video. But again, thank you all for stopping by. I will talk to you all soon, and as always, keep on gaming.